little bit of a struggle. Like it's Dan and I are very playful like that though. Okay. Like we like to have little fun games, not like Amanda and Mike games, but okay. fun like. What's well, because you're growing little up? Little struggles. It's you the know same, what I mean? It's the same kind of games. You just don't take it so right. seriously that you're it's mad playful. about it. Right. They do the same thing. They just then are mad. Like I can't believe you did that. Mm-hmm. You know, rewashing the table after I did a bad job washing the table. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Honey and Curtis on Channel 95.7. Happy Monday! Woo! We made it! We made it through the, the folly weekend. Man, was it freezing this weekend or was it freezing this weekend? Freezing. Oh. I believe it was freezing this weekend. Friday night, I went to a high school football game and froze. Saturday, <laughs> uh, red flannel days, that was that was fine. We were in a heated tent. Uh-huh. But then I went to two soccer games afterward. How were they? Froze. Then soccer yesterday, froze. And then went to a uh, friend's house and played kickball. And it actually got kind of nice. It kind of warmed up a little yeah. bit toward the end of the day. The wind Yesterday stopped. was probably the nicest day. But it was that wind. I know. It was a killer. I know. Ah, I seriously left. I didn't wear a uh, coat to Red Flannel Days. So I left Red Flannel Days and then went to the uh, soccer game. And I'm sitting in the stands shivering. <laughs> and one of the other dads had to get me a blanket from his car Aww. because I was so cold. Yeah. I was like, I did not prepare for this at all. You should just leave a coat in your car. I, I need one. And so then I wore a winter coat yesterday all day. Yeah. <laughs> like, I thought about wearing one to Red Flannel Days. Oh, you should have. And I should have. <clears throat> it was chilly. It was chilly. Well, and then the wetness. The wetness doesn't really help a whole lot. The wetness lot. is not cool. We don't like it. I will tell you something, though. Uh, so I'm at this high school football game, mm-hmm. and at halftime, I went at, to find Haley. Yep. We had to go because Haley and all of her friends wanted to go. Mm-hmm. So at halftime, I'm freezing. I'm wet. It's been raining all night. <laughs> and I say, all right, let's go. And she's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I said, Haley, I'm freezing. Aren't you? No, no, I'm fine. And I'm looking around at all these high school punks with their T-shirts on <laughs> and remembering myself. I mean, I never wore yeah. cold. I was never cold. You never complained about being cold. And now here I am shivering in the stands. That didn't even really happen that you started complaining about being cold until the last couple of years. I know. I used to never <laughs> be cold. I don't know what it is. Wimp. I have turned wimp. You're getting old. It was funny, though, because I was sitting with a group of parents. Mm -hmm. So we're all talking about how miserable we are. Like, oh, it's freezing. (laughs) And one by one, kids would call or text that they were ready to go. And it was like they won the lottery. It was like we were playing the uh, prices right, and they got to go up to see Bob Barker. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I get to leave. I'm out of here. And we'd uh, we'd hug them and say, You're so lucky. (laughs) I can't wait to be able to leave. Oh. Chilly. Did your team win? Uh, the team ended up winning, yeah. So That's that was good, good but yeah. it uh, it was so miserable. No one was having a good time. Mm. No one. It wasn't the best weekend to be outside doing outside things. We wanted to have uh, a fire in the fire pit, but it was way too windy. You're way too. Like we'll burn down the entire subdivision if we do that. And you just moved in. I mean, what yeah, a way. Yeah, we don't want to be that family. <laughs> what a way to really make some people angry. I know. I was laughing though because it was a homecoming game that I was at. Mm-hmm. So they brought all the girls out in yeah. their tiny little dresses. So moms and dads have their winter coats on mm-hmm. and the hoods. And and parkas, and there are these girls just freezing. <sighs> Had to have been. They don't care. They didn't. At homecoming for girls is like when you're dressed up for Halloween when you're a kid right. and you don't care about a coat. You just wear it. Homecoming for girls is the exact same way. And as you can tell, <laughs> I still am super sick, so Yo. good times. <laughs> How long has that been now? Well, it's middle of August, so uh, the two months you know, September, should be over October. pretty soon, right? Yeah. Any day now. Hmm. Fingers crossed that it's going to stop. I don't know. I was hanging out in a cat house yesterday. In a so, cat house. So then I got, uh, not a cat house like that. Oh, I wish. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do I they, didn't even think that, Do Curtis. they still call them that? I, no, I have no idea. Okay. I was thinking an actual cat. What is a cat house? Like people Somebody who had cats. Cat? Yes, oh, okay. people who had cats. Not a cat house. <laughs> wow. That would have been awesome if we had taken the kids to a cat house. Mm-hmm. I'll be out in like 10 minutes, guys. Go Why ahead. Why were you hanging out in a cat house yesterday? Uh, we were just hanging out with some friends. So they had two cats running around, and I was all swollen, and I like had a headache and was sick. Really? Oh, yeah. You know how I get. I know. Just, uh, I get all Did puffy. Did your face swell all up? My face was all puffy, and they're like, ooh, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing is wrong. What are you talking about? Leave me alone. Oh, something's wrong? <laughs> yeah. Do I look weird? I was all swollen, and I'm like, who has an EpiPen? And no one did. <laughs> I'm like, good, because I don't really need it anyway. Uh, this will all clear up. So, yeah, just the magic. Uh, but were the cats cute? The cats were super cute. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, aren't all cats Pretty much cute. Yes. I saw a great video, speaking of cats, the other day. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> I think it was on the news. I think it was on Fox, uh, maybe yesterday, and it made me think of you and your poof. They're taking <laughs> poof cat, is my cat. They're taking cats for walks. Uh huh. So one cat is walking, having a good time, doo, 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 mm-hmm. and one cat is just being dragged across the lawn, mm-hmm. and it was hilarious. That's my cat. And three times during the video, they had to say. This cat is okay because it looked like they were seriously dragging yeah. the cat. Yeah. And they're like, Yeah, this cat's not hurt. This cat just does not want to go on a walk. So they are dragging it. Like, it was awesome. Mm-hmm. It was very funny. That's poof. And then one of my girlfriends last week was telling me that she's got a cat. And when she takes her cat to the vet, she puts it on a leash. Yeah. I'm like, Poof. Poop. Lays down and he would be the dragging cat. Yep, you'd have to drag your <laughs> cat. No way, to the bag. I have to put him in a bag. Next year, though, when you teach Poop how to swim, <laughs> that will be the greatest thing ever. Oh! You just introduce him to the pool, and then he'll be off going off the diving board doing stunts. Well, I figure if little bunnies can swim, remember the little bunny yes. that swam across my pool? Yes, Poof would love it. I I have been doing nothing but researching cats swimming. Yeah. Since you moved into your pool house, okay. And there are so many cats who love the swimming <laughs> and love like dressing up and wearing floaties, that this has to happen for He's you. He's getting very uh, comfy just walking out the door when we do. Yeah. So we have to put the squash on that. This is going to be the year of him <laughs> swimming. <laughs> With little teeny poo floaties. Yes. Can you imagine on his arms? Yep. <laughs> and maybe some sunglasses. Maybe a little uh, frozen cocktail. <laughs> he would love it. <laughs> this cat would love it. Yeah. Let's make it happen. It's not going to happen. <sighs> I'll talk to Dan. I'll work on Dan a little bit. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see if I can get him. Dan convinced. is in love with that cat. That's what I'm saying. He will never let that cat go swimming. Cats love to swim. No, they don't. I'll show this. you the videos. I've had cats my whole entire life. <gasps> Hundreds the of videos. The average cat does not love to swim. Hundreds of videos. I told you about the time that my brother went to put our cat in the shower, and in midair, she turned around and went. <laughs> <laughs> And grabbed onto him and, and now, hung, oh. hung from him with her claws. Now he has no nipples. Did you know that, Amanda? <laughs> you remember that story? Uh, Where, no, he's got them. What happened to Connie's brother's nipples? And it goes back to that story. <laughs> uh, as a kid, they can't clawing off the nipple. Oh. Is it going to be warmer today? Warmer than? <laughs> warmer than yeah. like any yeah. other day? 57 today. Actually, this week isn't so bad. 57 today and 62 tomorrow. 65 on Wednesday, 67 Because okay. I put jeans on, on this morning, and then I was walking into the building. I'm like, I don't think I need jeans on. Um, You probably don't need jeans this whole entire week, Curtis. <sighs> but Not I've got them on. We're going to wrap, like, the weekend's supposed to be in the 50s again. Ugh. 50s? Wait, did... Oh, my car no, it never all, hit 50 yeah. once. On Saturday, my, no. it did not hit 50. Did it hit 50 yesterday? No. Uh, maybe yesterday when the sun came out, like toward the end of the day. Yeah. It may have been 50, but no, it was not. Saturday was C O L D. So C O L D. Oh, we'll talk about uh, the fun we had out at the Red Flannel Days, though, because they warmed it to like 300 degrees in that tent. They did. <laughs> I, I was thinking we need some blowers like that at our house. That did you was, turn your heat on? The heat is not on. We're <sighs> close. How cold is your house? Uh, 64. Okay, see, my house yesterday, I woke up, it was 58 degrees in my house. And I, on Saturday, kept saying to Dan, let's see how long we can go without turning okay. the heat on. Let's not turn the heat on. 58 was so cold. I wonder how cold it was in the morning, because both Saturday and Sunday mornings, we all were just huddled together on the couch, uh-huh. uh, shivering with yeah. the fireplace going. Yep. So that is, uh, it may have been colder, we just didn't look, uh-huh. but uh, it was 64 this morning when I woke up. Okay. In my bathroom. Yeah. Because I had the personal heater. Because uh, getting out of the shower so early in the morning, if it's cold, I don't want to get out of the shower. So Absolutely. then I, I wouldn't even come in. It would be kind of an empty chair. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I have a heater that I fire up. Mm-hmm. So that I, that made the move to the bathroom last night. Okay. And I didn't need it today. No. Like, I felt good. I felt refreshed. Yeah. 58 yesterday in my house, I had to turn the furnace on. I believe it. I was worried about poof. Yeah, poof. I mean, seriously. <laughs> he would die. Cats don't guy. like 58. He's a little dude. <laughs> 58, though. I don't want him to be free. Freezing and shivering in his house. I know. He's like, I hate this house, that old house we used to live at. That was nice and warm. So I set the heat at, what did we set it at? 61. It's all you need just, just to get it on, <laughs> 61. right? 61. Just get it on. It. Get something in there. All right. Yeah, it's so cold all week again and get your heat on. Well, the good, we're supposed to get some rain today and then on Friday. But every day in okay. between is supposed to be pretty decent. Okay. Now, Good time to walk around our prize. A great time. The final 20 uh, is our cover photo. And <laughs> I know you're going to be very happy because one of your favorites made the final 20. Breathe oxygen. The breathe wall. Yeah. Made. 
Yay. Now, was it one of the final 20 last year, too, Amanda? Do you remember? I don't I don't remember it being part of it. Because last year, Connie loved this living wall that's in the Bob lot. And this year, they wrote some words in it, and they lighted it differently, and they added some leaves that you can see. Like a design of leaves. Right. Like plants designed to look like a leaf. And it looks pretty it's cool. It's beautiful. Uh, and I, we were looking at it, and it's like, oh, okay, breathe, O2. And then Connie was a little confused and thought it said something else. Several of us thought it said breathe Oz. Okay. And they changed the two to make it look like it wasn't Oz. They rounded it a little they more. <laughs> uh, if you see it at night when it's lit up, yeah. that is where it is oh, just spectacular. It's so pretty. But it made it to the final 20, so it's one of them. If it wins. It must just be my thing. I must just because the, the last two years has been my favorite thing that I've yeah, seen. Yeah, you prize. just. And I, so when they did it again this year, I was kind of like, oh, really? Mm-hmm. And now to make the final 20, it pays off for them mm-hmm. to have done it again to get in and did get a little recognition. Did you actually ever meet the artist of that? No. I, I need I, to meet the artist. Every time we see them doing it, it's a bunch of guys. Right. And a truck of flowers. Right. So we have never seen just one person yeah, doing any work out there. Yeah, we need to there. hunt down that artist. We'll and find him. him. We can easily. Him or her. We Is can, it him? Dave McKenzie. Dave McKenzie. We can easily find Dave McKenzie. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what we do. Yeah. We track people down. Hi, Dave McKenzie. We found the guy who did Tea Time last year. The, we did. Uh, the golf scene made entirely of golf tees that I loved and uh, Connie and Amanda hated <laughs> and then didn't really even tell them that they hated we, we just alluded to it. When you no, t- we made fun of it. When you talk with Dave McKenzie, will you tell him that you thought it said breathe Oz? Yes. And that Amanda, you still do? Amanda, try and find him. I, I'm looking right now. That okay. you still think it says breathe Oz? Yeah, it still looks a little Ozzy. Even though he rounded the two? <laughs> <laughs> I know you rounded that two, but it still we looks like We can tell Oz. you rounded the two. We saw him. We appreciate Who's it. Who's Oz, Dave McKenzie? <laughs> Why are we breathing him? <laughs> Why are we breathing I'm not him? I'm doing this. All right, so rain today in 57 is the high. Not super far to go. We're in the 40s right now. Though. Oh. 49 at 618. Connie and... Six thirty one on channel ninety five seven with Connie Curtis. Forty nine degrees now. Some rain today and fifty seven is the high. What are you giggling about? I'm giggling about how freezing it was all weekend long and how fifty seven sounds so warm today. <sighs> I know. And then I wore a wool sweater. Oh, but because my house is so cold. Right, fifty eight degrees. You had to turn the heat on. <sighs> it's ridiculous. I was totally bundled up yesterday watching the Lions game. Oh my goodness. Eight field goals have been missed this year by the Lions. What? Eight field goals. I was at a party yesterday, and we decided that there should be a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe campaign (laughs) to get Jason Hansen to just come and kick field goals for the Lions. Don't even practice. Well, he had said that he he didn't like the daily grind of football, didn't like the life. So you just say to him, here is a big pile of money. Mm -hmm. All we need you to do is on fourth down, Kick a field goal. <laughs> That's it. That's all. That's all we need you to do. Because you know he was a professional athlete, so he's still working right. out. I right. mean, he, it's not like he has totally forgotten everything. He doesn't let his leg go. No, and he doesn't have to run. He no. doesn't do anything. No. Nope. Just kick the ball on fourth down in between the uprights. That's what. That's where I turn into a girl, like a girl who doesn't know anything about sports because. I mean, I know a lot about sports and right. I love football, but this one scenario, I don't understand how we can have two such crappy kickers yes. as we've had this season. Well, and you have one job. If you break how are it, they getting this job? If you break right. it down, that means that there are not 32 men in the world who can do this. Right. Because there are only 32 teams. Right. So that means that there are not 32 right. people who can kick a field goal through the uprights <sighs> with time expiring. Are you kidding me? I know. Fourth down, you I know. trot out, you kick a field goal. It's that easy. If we started a GoFundMe for Jason Hansen, how much do you think it would take to get him to, to sign up? I don't know. He should do it. He should totally he, do it. If he did it. We don't need a GoFundMe. We need the Lions to bring him back and pay the him. The Lions just pay him. They just give him some money. Yes. So we don't do it. No, I would almost like it, it. I would like it better though if we did it, and then he was like a contract worker for us. <laughs> like he's, we, yeah, he's our guy. Yeah. That way, they, you know, they can't boss him around because they probably have rules. Like, hey, you know, you need to come in the clubhouse. We don't want him in the clubhouse. 
We just want them on Sunday to drive to Ford Field or wherever they're playing. <laughs> fourth down, come out, kick a field goal. A friend of mine may or may not have bet on the Lions yesterday, and I said, <sighs> stop betting on the Lions. <laughs> Don't oh. bet on the Lions. You are jinxing us. It. He th- said, I am not jinxing you. The Lions are jinxing No, you. being so bad at football is what's <laughs> jinxing them. And all the injuries. I mean, yeah. uh, Calvin Johnson's out. Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush is on my fantasy team. I so, love Reggie Bush. So I, uh, I am getting trounced in fantasy football yeah. because Reggie Bush didn't even finish the game. He got mm-hmm. hurt. But I'm looking at the score, and I'm thinking, why is Bush not doing better in this game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's not even in anymore. My new favorite Lions player, though, I think, is Golden Tate. Don't you love him? And don't you want to call him Golden State? Golden Tate <laughs> I always want to go for. <laughs> Every time. Of course you do. And that's what I think. I want to call him Golden State. You do. Yeah. He would love that, <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, he's the I guy. I need a jersey. Uh, big game I yesterday. I love him, and I love his attitude, Touchdown. and he's super fun with his little cute little dance. He's the only guy, though, who's still on the team. I know, and he's so happy to be there. <laughs> Everybody else it's is great. Hurt. I know. Did you see, though, did you stick around for the end of the game? Yes. When they carried Jim Schwartz yes. off? Yes. I thought how weird this must have been for him to be, and I thought it was funny because they were going to him more than anybody else, like the camera, the oh, whole yeah. game. Well, because going to him. So when they first, uh, like, they stopped him, and then he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He was like mm-hmm. shaking his fist. It's like, what is going on, Jim Schwartz? You have nothing to do with this, I know. right? It's if they had made those field goals, you wouldn't be happy, right? You would be sad, right? But no, we just keep missing field goals. So go ahead. He's still cute though. Oh. He may not have been the best coach in the wor- in the world. Then they but... carry him off. Well, they did that. Come on, they did that. They're being supportive of him. No, they did that to kind of thumb their nose yeah. at the fans. Yeah, though. but like they knew it was uncomfortable for him to go back into that place. Come oh. on, that was sweet of them. I thought. And then to win. I know. Oh. All right, I just uh, I Googled... four seconds left, and Dan goes, "Honey, honey, there's still That's time." That's what I said. I go, "Shut <laughs> up." <laughs> That's what I there said. There is no time. There could have been They're time. They're losing this game, and then I watched the end of it, and I just marched upstairs. There could have been time. He kicked it out the end zone. We had it at the 20. Uh, we were set, and then no, nothing. No time. A uh, simple Google search shows that we only need to come up with like $2.5 million for Jason <laughs> Hansen. So let's go. I'm well, how in, much did the potato sale guy come up that with? That guy got like fifty grand. Yeah. So we need more than that. <laughs> like a lot. Like, well, that's a lot for potato like five, salad. Five times more or 10, 15 times? <laughs> Something like that. We need more than that. But two and a half million, we, we could do this. Go what do we got to do to find a kicker? Like how hard can it be? Well, there are movies. Obviously, it's very hard. There are movies where donkeys kick. <laughs> there are movies where girls kick. Couldn't they have mm-hmm. like a soccer player? A soccer That's player a great would be idea. great. They've had soccer style kickers, mm-hmm. but I mean, I'm sure they've exhausted all of these ideas except the donkey. But if we had a donkey, <laughs> like a real life, have you seen that movie? Yeah, it doesn't. They kick backwards, right? It, yeah. Of course, it kicks backwards. Their <laughs> legs don't bend the front way. Any like in that fake Budweiser commercial where the uh, horse kicks the front way, right? That's at CGI slingshot. <laughs> yeah, uh, you slingshot. You do that. If we got. The Lions, a donkey kicker. There's got to be somebody. <laughs> Here's what we should do. Okay, right now. You know we have the llama alpaca farm out here? Yes. This is a Connie and Curtis <laughs> uh, brainstorming session right, right now. All right, all right. We get together, uh, the three of us, you, yep. Connie, Amanda, me, after the show. Okay. We drive down to the alpaca farm. Okay. We get an alpaca. We throw it in my minivan. Uh-huh. We drive to Ford Field, okay. and we say, we have your kicker. <laughs> It's an alpaca, okay? Uh, and then we, we try out. Who knows if the alpaca can do mm-hmm. it? But they just missed three field goals yesterday. Yes. I have $100 that says an alpaca can miss three field goals. That's true. Right? You throw a jersey <laughs> yes, that would be entertaining. $100 says an alpaca can do just as bad as the guy did yesterday. You're right. Where did they find that guy, by the way? That guy, I think, was, Henry? Uh, I think he was selling uh, bootleg T-shirts out in front of Ford <laughs> Field. He's the guy who was working the purse oh, stand where they stole man. Amanda's purse. Yeah. So where was Freeze yesterday? Freeze was sitting at home laughing. Is he go- done? Oh, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's not, he's at a, on his couch just giggling. <laughs> he and can't so, do it either. Do you think Henry is going to be Henry following will. suit? They're going to uh, probably both be working at Meyer uh, <laughs> by the end of and with Brady Hope. Makes me sad for him though. Brady I mean, that's Hoke your dream, right? When you're a football player and you get to play. Yeah, yes. that's your dream. And then to go out and suck so bad makes me feel bad. What for if him. we have Brady Hoke kick? We should. <laughs> he can't coach, right? He can't do anything else. He's not really fit. 
physically, <laughs> but it's you a just kick. Need a good you don't leg. need to be. Just need a good leg. Does he have a good leg? I have no idea. And his post game conferences would be great with his scraggy voice. I have no idea. I, I kicked that ball. It was. Uh, <laughs> good. Did you see somebody asked him if he is going to be the coach? Do you think you still have your job in January? Oh, I didn't see that. And he said, uh, right now my focus is on these kids. And, uh, and it's like, that means no. somebody should have yelled out, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're not going News to. Newsflash. Not going to happen. Uh-uh, dude. We get. Just admit it. Okay, so after the show today, we get a, an alpaca. <laughs> okay. We drive. We're going to Detroit. So we'll swing through Ann Arbor. We'll see if Brady wants to come and try out for it, too. <laughs> Uh, we'll get him in my minivan. And alpaca and Brady Hoke. And and the three of us and uh, some sandwiches. Who do you think would kick at the farthest uh, the furthest out of the five of us? Oh. Me, you, Amanda, Brady Hoke, and an alpaca. Here's the thing. <laughs> Amanda Amanda's got her big boots on today. I'm wearing pointed boots today. So yeah. I think Amanda's got the edge, but okay. that alpaca packs a punch. Yeah. If we got an alpaca to kick for the Lions, that <laughs> That would make ESPN. Can I just say something about this Alex Henry? Yes, please. Yes. He set an NCAA record for field goal accuracy with an 89.5 success rate. Yeah, I know. And that Freeze <laughs> dude supposedly didn't miss one for right. like his whole college career Yeah, Freeze had never missed either. Give me a break. It's in your head. I know. You know who doesn't get uh, messed up in their head? Alpacas. <laughs> <laughs> and we can change his name. It's Paca on the back of the jersey. Yeah. This is Alpaca. I like that. Johnny and Curtis. That's good. 651, GL 95.7 with magic. Some rain today and 57 is the high. It is 49 right now. Do not forget, if you got qualified for oh the goodness. Daughtry Cruise in the Bahamas, 9.30 is the time. 9.30. We are calling out a name today. We call out a name. If it's your name, here's the deal. You need to call us back within five minutes at 778-957 to claim your cruise. All right. I have a question for both of you. You as a husband. Hello. And you as a non-married chick. Okay. All right. Wait, who, which one? You're the husband. <laughs> okay, okay. You're, you're going to play the husband in uh, this one. In this, the part of the husband would be played by Curtis. Do you think it is weird for, let's say there are a bunch of people out at a bar. Okay. And let's say it's a bunch of girls. Me and my girlfriends were out at the bar. Okay. And there's a guy who starts talking to us, and he is alone. Okay, just chilling. He says he's in town on business. Okay. And he's married. And he's talking to a group of women. Talking to the group. Is that a problem? I don't think so. Is that inappropriate? I don't think so. The wife maybe would have a different opinion, but no, I don't think so. Like if that were you I would in definitely your situation. I would definitely be talking to the group of pretty girls at the <laughs> yeah. bar. Would Katie have a problem with that? I don't think so, because I think she would be talking to the group of guys at the bar. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just who you do. I mean, I told you about the time where I was out uh, with a buddy and ended up uh, talking to... Uh, like a group of four or five. Is this five? the time you took that girl, gave that girl a ride? Uh, no, that time. That was a bad time. Uh, <laughs> that, that, and that was, that that was weird. Story. This okay. was, uh, we hooked up with, it was me and another married guy, and we hooked up with a group of like four girls, yeah. and we cabbed around town. Oh, that's the one you asked to be your babysitter. And then she was going to babysit. (laughs) Exactly. So I'm, and all I did was. Katie's like, we are not having a babysitter that you picked up at a bar. (laughs) Exactly. So I'm (laughs) hanging out with these girls all night and uh, find out that one lives very close to me. And I was like, you should babysit for my kids. And she's like, I would love to. I'm always looking for different jobs. I'm like, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, So I get home and I have her number and I have her name. And I'm like, Katie, yeah, our problems are solved. I have a babysitter. And she's like, well, where'd you meet her? I, said, oh, I met her at uh, one bar, and then we capped around and went to like eight <laughs> other bars with her and her friends last night. She didn't really love that, did she? She didn't want the girl that I picked up at a bar babysitting her. <laughs> right. Uh, but no, I have no problem with it. And she was not mad that I had been with the girl, just that I then invited her into our home right. <laughs> to care for our kids. I like how you giggle. <laughs> yeah, just to watch over the kids. Okay, Amanda, what do you think? Well... I have a little bit different of an opinion. Okay. The bachelorette, no <laughs> yeah, the shocking. bachelorette party that I was at uh, about two months ago, mm-hmm. there was actually a guy that was married that ended up coming up and talking to us. Yeah, you talked about this guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, me and two of the other girls were talking to him for probably five or ten minutes. Okay. And it was nothing inappropriate whatsoever. I think we ended up talking about a TV show. Okay. And uh, the bride came over and kind of like pulled two of us back and she was like, what are you doing? He has a ring on his finger. 
Because she was about to be married. Oh, See what that is? That's the yeah. sanctity of marriage. Like, you can't go against that. And what did you say to her? I guess I didn't, it didn't even dawn on me. Like, I hadn't even looked at his finger to determine okay. whether or not he was married, unmarried. It didn't really matter okay. to me. It was just somebody we were talking to. So had I known he was married, I probably would have said, you know, a couple sentence, sentences to mm-hmm. him and then return to the group. Oh, what? You like Full House? Yeah, Full House. Is <laughs> and then you just walk away. It's, oh, my gosh, I love that show. Now, Andrew, our intern Andrew, he's getting married, what is it, a week oh. from Saturday? A uh, week from Friday. week from Friday. What do you oh, think and- about this, Andrew? What do you think, Andrew? You with a wedding ring on, talking to, you know, a group of women at a bar. Would I Katie have a problem with it? I don't think she would because she'd do the same thing. Yeah. Are, are you expecting to change your behavior, though, in two weeks? No. No, you'll just be the same yeah. you. Lovable Andrew, yeah, right? He's pretty lovable. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He I totally am. is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, he I totally mean, is. He is. He's adorable. That's why she loves him. So, uh, yeah, I mean, what about you? You are newly married. Yeah. Uh, Dan is out at a bar talking up a, a group of ladies. W- no. What do you think? Doesn't bug me. No, and I and I kind of look at it like we were all hanging out at uh, Red Flannel Days this mm-hmm. weekend. And we that talked, was so fun, by the we way. We talked to a lot of people, yeah. you know, and uh, not once did I think, oh, I shouldn't be talking to this person because I'm married. Right. Or uh, like Amanda said, I never looked at anyone's fingers. Well, the burping lady probably really. <laughs> well, that lady was. <laughs> she was awesome. She, Let's Can we talk about her in a few minutes? She, she, she was, was the champion hilarious. of red flannel days. I'll tell you that much, right? <laughs> she was the one. Because I want you to impersonate her. She was the one who did it and made us all just smile so much. And we begged for something else, but she couldn't she do couldn't it. She couldn't do it. She's like, no, if I do that, I'll have to change my pants all again. All right, we'll tell you the story in a few minutes. Wake up. Wake up.